So what's going on guys, so when we talk about uh, cute mecha kits, you might think of like Mecha Troigo kits from Hasegawa or Bandai's cute kits, Bandai's got a lot of them, whether it be like Pokepla or even the Gundam like SD kits, some might be kind of cute as well too. Maybe not necessarily what you think of Kotobukiya, but Kotobukiya has come out with a very cute kit here, all wrapped up, this all opened up here, it is the Tamotu. And this is actually a collaboration project with uh, Maru Toys. I'm not familiar with Maru Toys, but as far as I know, I think it's just like a, a toy production company uh, who basically did the design and Kotobukiya has produced it into an actual model kit here. So awesome box art. We'll take a look at all the box and of course the kit inside here in a moment. But really cool kit that is available in a white and black version now, but they just also recently announced that there's going to be two other color versions coming out later this year as well too. I think it's orange and blue are the next color versions coming out of this. So it's really great, kind of similar to the Mecha Tro We Go kits that they're available in a lot of different colors. So if you have a particular color scheme that you like for this, uh, that you have a lot of choices, of course you could paint it, but uh, if you don't feel like painting it, they do look really nice just straight out of the box as well too. You know, just very simple, cool, fun, cute design. Let's go ahead and check it out. So like I said, I love the box art on these, and Kotobuki seems to be doing this more often lately on this kind of type of kit, doing uh, where the big box art is just a, like photograph of the kit, it's a cool photograph, so obviously you have it set in this kind of scene where it looks like it's just kind of on the streets of Tokyo or something like that, as just this little automated uh, robot just kind of going around doing something, I don't know, anyway, but as you can see here, this is the white version, so the box just looks right, and it also has this a really nice matte finish to it as well too, just a very pleasant box to have in hand and to look at. On the side of the box, got the same thing there. You can see this is in 1 12th scale. So if you wanted to pair this up with like a Megami device or also in 1 12th scale, for example, or any 1 12th scale, like a resin figure or something like that you wanted to kind of put along with this. You got lots of options there. 1 12th scale is relatively common. On the bottom of the box there, you can see in normal mode with its kind of arm all folded up like that. And then in work mode, I guess you can actually walk. Now, I wonder if that was just like an odd translation, if it's supposed to be walk mode, but I guess that's left to be seen. Either way, it kind of works. It is walk mode, but it is also work mode, I guess. It's got the arm deployed. And then internal mode, so it does have a pretty nice, uh, cool, detailed inner frame there as well, too. Lots of details underneath the armor as well, too. So if you want to display like armor half on, half off, it looks like looking like it's undergoing some maintenance or something, could be kind of cool. And then action, it can do some action poses there as well too. Going around here onto the top of the box, uh, Tamotu. So there's a little bit about that. It's just all in Japanese, but you can see like a whole line of them all kind of going along there. Uh, once again, just kind of in a fictional streets of Tokyo sort of thing. And over here, we got the list price for that coming in at 2,800 yen. So not too expensive. Should be around $30 or less. And we do, of course, have these up for pre-order on USA Gundam Store at the moment. So if you guys want to check it out there at USA Gundam Store, I highly recommend you do. The link will be down below, of course, and my coupon code there as well too, ZakuRelius10, you can use to save 10% off to make it even a little bit cheaper as well. So check that out down in the video description, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and check out the manual here. Just got the logo there, the box art, and some marking here on the front. On the back side, you got the color guide. And it does show that as being slightly off-white for the main color of that, but it's basically white, black, gray. Pretty simple for the colors for that. You got a little bit of orange like for the little uh, lights on there and for the tail lights, you got a little bit of clear red. I think basically that's about it. On the inside, view of the world, uh, Atra City. I guess just something else about the fictional universe that these are from there, and you can see the uh, comparison, how these are in height compared to a normal human, so about like up to the waist level uh, human size for that. And then in here, a little bit about customizing this with some option weapons and stuff, so you can use the frame arms, uh, frame arms girl, hexa gear, all this stuff, for the um, modeling support goods line. MSG up and option weapons and stuff, you can combine parts and stuff with this, combining parts with the Gorai cannon or with the Hexagear stuff. So there's a lot of options, of course, with Kotobukiya stuff. They always try to make their stuff uh, compatible. So you can see on the kit here, it does have some hard points like here on the side and then on the arm, you've got a, a number of different hard points on there. You can plug some extra option parts and stuff on. Everything else in here basically is just going through the construction of the kit. So let's just go ahead and check out the runners. All right, so no water slide decals or stickers or anything like that, and also no polycaps. We can just get right into it with runners here. Runner A, it's obviously all of our white armor pieces there. It does look pretty nice. You got a good gloss on those. That would look, I mean, on like a mecha kit, I might not like them to be so glossy for my personal taste, but for a kit like this, it does obviously make sense. They should be nice and glossy. And then alternatively, our B runner here has a really nice matte finish to it. it is, as you can see, it's in this really dark, slightly brownish gray color, kind of a similar color we see for a lot of Gundam inner frames, especially recently. But as you can see, there's a lot of nice interior detail on this, so that's going to be really fun. 
for a seat as well, just some more interior parts there. Again, a lot of great detail. And then that's continued on to runner D here, which looks to be like probably parts for the legs as we've got two of this D runner. And last but not least, runner E is just going to be our clear parts for the lights on the front and back. So there you have it, not a whole lot in there, but it's a pretty simple kit that definitely cries out to be customized. So I think this is gonna be a fun one to work with. Uh, so let me go ahead and get it built up and we'll see how it looks. All right guys, before we take a look at the completed model, I just wanted to show you what this looks like without all the armor and everything on there, just so you can see sort of the inner frame and everything. It does look very cool. So you got the legs all move out like that. You got a bunch of articulation in these. They can rotate there and rotate there. You can rotate them there like that. You can rotate this whole section forward and back like that. So these move all over the place. The wheels aren't actually moving wheels though. Those are just kind of molded in there like that to look like wheels, unfortunately. That's that I guess, I don't know, if, even if they were working wheels, it wouldn't be all that interesting anyway. But you got the clear parts there in the front and in the back. The head will rotate here. Now I don't have the arm on there, and that's because you can't just build the entire arm here without the armor. The, the armor, kind of the white parts, they have to be included with that. So I mean, I guess if I was just showing this to you guys without any armor on, then I wouldn't be able to do that at the same time. But you guys get the idea. Anyway, so the head will move around, and you can see where some of the hard points are there on the top of the head, on the side here. But a lot of these are going to be covered up with the armor. But just at least for the moment, just wanted to give you guys a look at what this looks like. And without all the armor on, you can see there's lots of great detail on there that's going to look really cool if you went in and painted all that up. All right, here it is with all the armor on and it looks great. It's really cool. There's a lot to like about this kit, even though it's very, you know, small, simple. It doesn't really have, doesn't really, you know, appear to be all that much on the outside, you know, it doesn't really look like anything all that exciting. I think there's some really nice details there and a lot of great possibility to really have a lot of fun with this. So I think it's gonna be a really fun model that I am gonna enjoy. So let's go ahead and take a closer look here at everything. As for what you have for accessories, it's basically just four of these little connection bits. Here, just these little three millimeter male to male connection parts that you could use for just plugging stuff onto this. So basically any of these hard points here on the side, on the side of the legs. On the front here, it's hidden. You pull off this little panel there. You got another hard point right up in there. Around here on the back, you got two there, and you, of course this one right here on the end of the arm. Also, if you just wanted to remove that, you could just use this on there. You got two, and so you could actually have a two different places where you're supposed to set that as well. So you got lots of places where you could plug some stuff on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Now, unfortunately, there is a seam line on this part on the top of the head right there. So it would have been nice if this was just one solid piece just go over there on the head, but you'll have to remove that seam line on that piece there, unfortunately. I mean, I guess depending on how you want to categorize, there's a seam like going all the way around, but I would maybe excuse that one and then that one here on the top of the arm as well too, but just seems like the one on the head is the only one that I really worry too much about. Uh, the head actually does have some articulation aside from just rotating. If you just pull that up a little bit, there is an actual ball joint in there, so you could actually change the angle of that a little bit, have it like set off at an angle. Something like that, aside from just obviously rotating that around. And legs we just saw, but just as another note, those will extend out like that and just tuck back in there so you can do all sorts of stuff, rotate that and everything, bend this whole section forward to back. So having these legs out in work or walk mode gives you a chance to see up inside there to appreciate some of the interior details in there as well too, which look really nice. And of course the arm here will bend up and down at a couple different points of articulation there. Obviously it can rotate there at the bottom and then this also extends out so that can extend out and also rotate one way or the other and the end part as well too will also rotate here one way and the other and then you have the hand or the little uh, pincer claw that will fold out and that can open up as well too to be able to hold on to stuff to grab onto things so for example if that was reaching out to the front it can reach all the way out to the front there like that so really cool actually uh, arm here for this how it does seem like you can pretty much move it around kind of basically anywhere and it works really well. And for a quick size comparison, here it is compared with your standard HG144 scale Gundam kit and a 120 scale Mechatro WeGo kit so you guys can get a sense of the size of this. Not really that big, but it's a good solid size, I think. So basically guys, just to wrap up the review, I'll show you just a few different options of using some different Kotobukiya and Bandai parts so you guys can get the idea of just some of the examples. But obviously there's a lots, thousands, millions of examples of things that you could do with this. And that's, I think, kind of the main draw of this kit. Not only is it just a cute little thing just on its own, it's a very cool, fun little solid kit just on its own with some nice detail and everything in there. And a lot of nice smooth services as well too, just to sell it. Like, it really reminds me of, obviously, of Eve from Wally, basically like a four-legged robot version of Eve, sort of, in a way. But obviously, aside from just being a solid kit on its own, it's definitely best suited customized, so there's a million different ways you could go with customizing this. And honestly, guys, 
if I know that there's a, enough of you guys buying this kit, it's definitely something that I would love to do a contest for in the future. So if you guys are planning on getting this kit, or you already got this kit, or you're planning to get a lot of them or something, or if you guys would like to do a contest centered around this kit in the future, I would be all for that. I think it'd be super fun, but I just don't know how many of you guys are actually planning on getting this kit or not. So definitely let me know if you are, if you think that'd be a fun idea. It's something I'll definitely uh, hope that we can do in the future. This is a really fun kit to play around with if you just want something fun to just sit on your desk and just kind of mess around with every now and then or you know you want to turn it into a whole diorama or something like that. There's a lot of different ways you could go with it and I think it's an awesome kit for that. So big ups to Kodobukiya for another awesome kit. And as always guys you can check it out at USA Gundam store. The link is down below. Use my coupon code there. Zacharelius10. We got the black version, the white version, two more color versions on the way. So a lot of options there for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye!